And this is why, like, I mean, really high, high, you know, high net worth individuals, they use everything at their disposal, disposal, just even the slight little edge or just even a placebo effect, just something yep. th that is very valuable. And um, now total novices and stuff, but they said like, eh, you know, every 24 years, you know, that you end up having like a kind of like a super cycle, essentially. So right. every every 24 years it's a it's, a, it's like a mega dragon year which is like a big money it's a big money one and he's like jerome powell a dragon <laughs> you know that like next year's a dragon year that's also yeah. the enemy, we didn't, enemy get, year. we didn't get demonetized for doing the whole lot of money thing i would put that on right now i know right but here's what he, he said but next year's a dragon year and the enemy of the dragon is the rat and when was the sec founded in the year of a rat the sec so he's like sec is gonna get smashed and i'm like Beautiful. god bless america <laughs> <laughs> right you know take it with a grain of salt you guys we're like we're, we're just messing around with this stuff but it's it's hilarious no it is funny though it makes me laugh though like but we've already we were already kind of or since the beginning of this year already kind of saying that you know next year during the election cycle they're probably gonna get gary Gensler out of here because he's very unpopular very yeah. i mean i sh now as a professional professional and professional in the crypto space i should know gary Gensler's name and everything but at the same time i shouldn't at all yeah there's that whole thing like you should know your elected officials, but you really shouldn't really like, yeah. in, or, like in terms of like, yeah, they should just be like, eh, just holding the boat. Nothing, nothing too bad. Like, yeah. yeah. Just like that. Right. But you knowing their name and the, the, like, he has literally been, so I mean, he's lost like four out of five lawsuits against the Supreme. <laughs> Not great. You guys. I, was gonna say, I could play that thing again, where he basically says, yeah, Bitcoin spot ETF shouldn't be held back. And this was before when he was at MIT. I'm just like, every time I see that, I'm just like, God damn it. But you know, uh, what, what, where is it? What, what's Gary's brother's name? He has like a brother, right? Yeah, I saw. I I was just shocked that I saw he had an evil twin brother, and I was just like, you know, uh, I couldn't. I forgot the name. Well, his brother ever goes to jail. His other brother can just make a like a fortune just doing all kinds of picks and stuff and like all kinds of funny things. <laughs> but yeah. um, well, you know, he, I think he said he's. I think he's like one time during his MIT course, he said, you know, seventy five percent of the market is not. ICOs, I mean, they are not like considered like, you know, uh, securities at all, you know, as the market is right now. He said 75% of the market. Yeah, ridiculous. And then he's just like, oh, yeah, but crypto is not, you know, uh, not compliant. I'm just like, you guys are idiots. But everybody's seeing through this bullshit now, which is fun, finally, right, which is good to see. And, uh, you know, it. I still like marvel at the fact that he didn't uh, like they didn't rake him over the coals more with being as mm. close as he was to Sam Bankman Freed and his family. So I mean, but he kind of got away with one there. I, I think he did mostly because I think all the politicians together says, all right, you guys, we took a lot of money from these guys. Yep. Let's just not talk about it. Cause it's just, it's too many cans of worms. So like, I get like, I think Richard, the, the only thing I think I corrected, not corrected, but it's just more like, I think maybe Richard didn't know this part because I didn't know about it until, until I just did a bunch of research into it that, um, you know, Sam Beckman Freed, you know, gave hundreds of millions of dollars over the span of FTX to the Democrats. His second in command gave just almost just as much to the Republican side as well. So they were buying both aisles, both aisles, hundreds of million dollars for Republicans and Democrats. Now, you only hear the, the Democrat. I mean, the, the you know, the, you only hear the Democrat side because it's like the evil side. Right. Of course. Right. But they're still were paying money to the to the republicans either way just to cover their cover their you know cover their ass it's smart dude i mean i sh i mean honestly like i get i kind of get it like if i was like as an example if i was a business and i was i was making like 100 not 100 that's that's a little ridiculous but if i was making like 20 billion dollars a year profit 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 no matter what i mean 50 mil 50 mil there just as insurance mm -hmm. oh yeah i mean hey. that's nothing that's, to, that's if that's the toll man psh, getting away pretty pretty easy just a little so hey, just give me out your name. Just say hey, when you when you when you have crypto, hey, you never you don't even know who about us. Hey, that's just Miguel who? Hey. <laughs> <laughs>